the gentleman now for the official introduction. The final, final out of the bullpen, weighing at 66, needs to play a kill, stands at 5 6. The fight man of impact, martial arts, and hails from Manchester by way of Poland, Janisław Chitopanski! The fight man of the red point, weighing at 65.5, he's at 21, stands at 5.7. The fight man of Spartan MMA and hails from Shrewsbury, John Tonicliffe! Fellow in action here, Rage in the Cage 3. John Tonicliffe from Spartan MMA in the black shorts, takes on premise Lord Szczepanski in the white shorts, and a fast and furious start from both guys. Wow. John Tonicliffe. Coming forward, furious punches. Knocked over a couple of speakers here in our commentary position, Ben. Yeah, both guys not wasting any time mixing it up in this contest. So it's Tony Cliff looking to grind his opponent out. Landing a few short shots, but as we say, we say it time and time again, Dave, but to the untrained eye, I mean, doesn't this position doesn't look massively kinetic, massively taxing. Easily probably the, the, the most physically grueling position in the entire sport. A real grind up against the cage. Yeah, it really is. Just the simple simple things like trying to move your head position out, working the, uh, the whiz of the overhook, just so difficult to do. And these guys back in that clinch position up against the cage. Looks like Tony Cliff's looking to dip down and change levels. Throws a nice knee to the body. This premise law is doing well, stood up. Keeping the fight where he needs it to be. He'll be very careful though. A nice standing hammer fist from John Tonicliffe, Dave. You don't see too many of them. No, you don't see too many of them. Last I can remember, Thomas Savinsky for a brutal standing hammer fist at a UCMA. That was all she wrote for Grant Waterman at the time, I recall. But now, John Tonicliffe working this top position. Before then, you're probably looking at Giant Silver versus Heath Heron just to continue the standing hammer yeah. fist debate. Yeah. Giant Silver, serious force in his day. Tommy Clifford is now in the close guard of Schapansky. And from Tommy Clifford's point of view, David, a nice control performance. Very, very adept shall we say, for a, for a debut guy. Minimum fuss, hasn't taken a lot of, t a lot of punishment, he's got it to, to a top position, and in these short fights, these, these amateur fights, three minutes, um, executing a game plan like this, getting it to the, the top and exerting a bit of control is, is, is often the difference maker a lot of times. Oh well, yeah, certainly, and uh, I mean, you mentioned how composed he's been, and you only have to look over in his corner, the, the likes of Dougie Wildman over in his corner at Spartan, and. Mark Hanley, who's a, an extremely experienced pro in the in the flyweight division in the UK, and uh, you know you, you hope that the guys go out. Everybody reacts differently to a debut, but John Turning Cliff obviously took his instructions well, and and just basically doing a job on premise law at the moment, for want of a better term. He's missed he's, a few. He's landed a nice hammer fist there. He's missed a few really big swinging punches. He's got to be careful, almost not injuring his hand there. Thrown some huge shots from the top, but good control exhibited from here, from Tony Cliff there. You'll feel good, Dave, to get that debut round out of the way. Obviously, it's his first time in the cage. Yeah, it just proves how much the scene's moved on as well. I mean, both these guys at debut, very solid. And as you mentioned, John Tony Cliff, a real uh, methodical round, shall we say. Used positions well, grind his man up against the cage. When he finally did get the takedown, was able to work uh, a series of tough hammer fists from top position that will have surely caught the judge's eyes. So good opening period for John Tunnicliffe. From Schapansky, his point of view, difficult to know what his corner are going to be saying. They're obviously going to be keen to avoid getting taken down and, uh, and look at the, the top game again of, of John Tunnicliffe. So maybe they're going to look for his guy just to show a bit more lateral movement on the outside. Get in and out. There's a bit of a height discrepancy. So going to have to change of tactics here for Schapansky and maybe even look for a takedown of his own, Ben. Interesting to see how it pans out in this second round. As we say, nice uh, control performance. And not something you generally associate with debut fighters, but as 
we alluded to earlier, the experience of the guys in the corner. It's, it's, it's good to know that these guys are going in there and there's the experienced guys in the gyms for them to... Learn to oh, it's a nice combination from Tony Cliff there. He uses it to punch his way into the clinch as well. Yeah, if you're going to close the distance, it's not good enough to just run in there head down that's when you get caught either with a knee or a counter left or right hand Tony Clough he's throwing the punches to close the distance and engage this grappling range great performance thus far well I like from Tony Clough excuse me Davis he's really making his opponent work at all times there's no there's no inch of daylight there's no breathing room it's a it's a real the real burning kind of grinding performance yeah. to, to, to take the heart and to take the will out of his opponent Winds up a big one, doesn't quite land, but throws some nice short shots there and ducks in once again. And I like the fact that he's got to be careful of positioning though. Arm in though, he was able to just pop the head out. Yeah, once, once again, we're back in the uh, the position we were in the round before. Yeah, fantastic work from, from Tony Cliff. And it, it's good to see he landed a couple on the feet. He didn't get carried away, he just used it to duck under and, and take Premislav back to the ground. So, you know, we've mentioned it more than once here. A performance certainly bond his debut status thus far from Spartan MMA's John Tunnicliffe. Pamazor on the bottom looking to get out, he's got the hips clear. Oh, big knee to the face, but the man was down. Yeah. Referee calls time. Difficult one for him to agree to agree with now. Sorry, I'm just looking at the damage there. It looks like a lot of damage. Is that a, quite a lot of blood as well? A, yeah, maybe that caused a broken nose. Referee's going to call for the doctor to come with. There is a lot of blood. Yeah. Okay. Paramedics been called in. Difficult to see from our vantage point, Ben, but it did look clearly grounded from. Well, I'm saying it's difficult to see, and I'm saying clearly grounded, but he was he was certainly on his knees over there. Um, it, and it's difficult to agree with Tony Clough's point of view of being an accidental strike, isn't it? Because disappointingly, he's, he's probably way ahead in this fight and the, there's no need to go that... You know, we've mentioned that he's shown composure beyond his debut status thus far. Maybe that is just a, a bit of an inkling of uh, a bit of an experience, Ben. Because uh, as far as we could tell, did look like Sapansky was clearly grounded. I think the other problem is the fact that no and I think that's it referee waving off he's obviously had a word of the fire and it looks like he's unable to continue an unfortunate turn of events really but I think re realistically what you've got to look at as well Dave as we talk about the knees and throwing the strikes it was the fact that uh, Tunnicliffe also cradled the back of the head and threw that shot as well so it was yeah. clearly his, his aim to throw that knee um, unfortunate set of circumstances Still, you know, Ben, in these amateur ranks, Tony Cliff can take that on, and it, it was still a good performance from him at the end of the day. So both guys live to fight another day. It'd be interesting to see him back in the amateur ranks here at Rage in the Cage. Find us to the center of the cage, please. Find us to the center of the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, after 1 minute 32 seconds in the second round, due to an illegal blow, the fight in the blue corner cannot continue, and therefore, disqualification for John Tunnicliffe declaring the winner, Yushan Nassar Shitapansky.